We have the story of Ibrahim alayhi salam, and we have the story of Ismail alayhi salam in Surah Al Baqarah. Also, with regards to the Qibla, Allah tells us that the Yahoo, the Jews, they know, even the Christians, they know that this Qibla, that this Kaaba, that this facing that we face the prayer, that this, they know that this is the true Kaaba. Because it didn't start with the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. It started with Ibrahim alayhi salam and his son Ismail. So it's documented. It's well documented. But because Ismail alayhi salam, he is uh, the one from which the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam came from, not from Ishaq. The Yahoos they don't want to uh, 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 validate Ismail alayhi salam because this is racism and hatred and jealousy. But they know that the Qibla, that the Kaaba facing Mecca, that this is the truth. Reading from Surah Al-Fatra, Allah states, A'udhu Billahi Min Shaitan Rajeem, and mentioned when we made the house, the Kaaba, a place of return for the people, a place of security, and take for believers from the standing place of Ibrahim, a place of prayer. And we charged Abraham and Ismail, so Abraham and Ismail, saying, purify my house for those who perform tawaf, and those who are staying here, worship that those who bow and prostrate in the house. So Allah said that it was Ibrahim salam, and his son Ismail salam, who purified and removed the idols from the house. So Ismail salam, he was a Nabi, he was also a Rasul. This is stated in uh, chapter 19 of the Quran. He was a Rasul as well. And we charged Abraham and Ismail saying, purify my house for those who perform tawaf and remember Abraham said, my Lord, so Ibrahim alayhi salam, he's making dua. He came back to his son, his son is grown, they're at the Kaaba. Now his son is grown, now they're getting ready to rebuild the foundations of the Kaaba. And they're making dua to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It says, and remember when Ibrahim alayhi salam said, my Lord, so he's making dua to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. For Mecca, Saudi Arabia. My Lord, make this a secure city and provide its people with fruits with abundance of wealth. Make it secure that this is the, the Masjid al-Haram, it's Haram, there's no fighting in that area. So this dua has come true. Whoever of them believes in Allah and the last day, Allah said, and whoever disbelieves, I will grant him enjoyment for a little, then I will force him to the punishment of the fire, and rest is the destination. And mention when Ibrahim alayhi salam was raising the foundations of the house of the Kaaba, and with him was Ismail alayhi salam. So it was Abraham alayhi salam and Ismail alayhi salam building the foundation of the Kaaba. Nothing to do with the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. So this was thousands of years before the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. And mentioned when Ibrahim alayhi salam was raising the foundations of the house, and with him was Ismail. Both of them were saying, "Our oh Lord, accept this from us. Accept this reestablishment of Tawheed." Indeed, you are the hearing and knowing, our Lord, and make us Muslims. So they make dua that Allah will make them Muslims. Our Lord, and make us Muslims to you and from our descendants, a Muslim nation in submission to you. So they make dua that Allah will make them Muslims and that the offspring will be Muslims as well. This is a dua from Ibrahim alayhi salam and Ismail alayhi salam for them to be Muslim as well as those who follow them, their descendants to be Muslims. Our Lord, and make us Muslims. Our Lord, and sin among them. And this is the emphasis, this is the kicker, this is the main thing. This is chapter 2, verse 129. Our Lord, and sin among them a messenger from themselves who will recite to them your verses and teach them the book and wisdom and purify them. Indeed, you are the exalted, might, and wise. Our Lord, and send among them a messenger. So while they're in Mecca, Saudi Arabia, they're making dua, Ibrahim alayhi salam and Ismail alayhi salam, and they're making dua at the Kaaba, and they're making dua that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala send among them a messenger from among themselves that will recite to them the verses and teach them the book and the wisdom and to purify them. Indeed, you are the exalted, might, and wise. We know that the messenger that the Prophet Ibrahim alayhi salam and the Prophet Ismail alayhi salam that they made dua for, that was none other than the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So the, the advent of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam 
being the last prophet. This is already from the du'a of Ibrahim alayhi salam and Ismail alayhi salam that from that lineage, from that lineage of Hajar and Ibrahim alayhi salam and Ismail and from that lineage will come a messenger that will purify that spot. That messenger that came with the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi salam. The Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi came from the lineage of Ismail alayhi salam. That's why the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi told the Sahabas when they were going into Africa, he said, be kind to the blacks. Be kind to the Africans, because your mother Hajar was black. This is Sahih Hadith. So understand that the Arabs come from the lineage of Ismail alayhi salam. Ismail alayhi salam come from the lineage of Hajar and Ibrahim alayhi salam, who was also Egyptian or African. This is why we pray to the Kaaba. This is why we pray to Mecca, Saudi Arabia. Not because of the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, but because this was the first house ever established for the worship of one God in the time of Adam Alayhi Salaam and even the reestablishment of Ibrahim Alayhi Salaam with his son Ismail Alayhi Salaam and again back to the reestablishment of the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam where he did the same thing that Ibrahim Alayhi Salaam did and purified the house in the conquest of Mecca purified from all the idols and whatnot, still forming the same example of all the prophets. But surely he said, I am like a brick of a house, and it's a beautiful house, except that there's one brick missing, I am that brick. So he was just a continuous of all the other prophets. So I hope you know what I mean, understand that the Kaaba, Mecca, that it all has a history. It all starts from the beginning. It didn't just start with the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu It started back with Adam Alayhi Salaam, who prayed to the one God and Ibrahim Alayhi Salaam and Ismail Alayhi Salaam and from the Dua. Alhamdulillah, we will not mean. Any good that I say today was from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because he is al Ali. All God is from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So we say Alhamdulillah, we will not mean. Anything that I say wrong or misconstrued is from my own knowledge. So I say, I will be dying with Shaykh al And I see breakfast in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for my weakness. And I see breakfast in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala from Shaykh al-Rajim first. Alhamdulillah, we will not mean. Alhamdulillah.